hey guys so reading thing requested me to make a tutorial on how to make a diagonal stripe texture seamless texture so i'm going to try it on game so let's just start first i'm going to take a small size canvas because my aim here is to make a seamless texture so i'll just make a very small texture and then i'll use it repetitively to make a larger texture and make it into seamless texture so i'll go to file new under create a new image i'll just take width and hide uh, 100 pixel each i'm just going to make a square canvas and if you want to change the resolution you can do it from advanced options over here but uh, i'm going to keep it at 72 for now now just grab my zoom tool the magnifying glass tool and just making it a bit bigger now let's just change the color of the background it's optional but i'm going to make it look a bit nicer so i'll just give a bit of pink color and uh, taking that bucket tool and filling the background entirely now i'm going to take this uh, gradient tool here in gimp i think it's called blend tool whatever you can understand wh which tool i'm talking about so i'm just going to click on it so in my uh, gimp this sidebar is already open but if it's not open then just click over here and then come down here see this small icon just click on it then this panel this gradient panel will open on this side and at the bottom this icon over here is create a new gradient icon click on it upon clicking on this um, icon gradient editor will open up now let's just make it a bit bigger for you to see for a better view now right click on this blue bar and select replicate segment i'm just going to increase the number to four so i'll just have four segments here see here the segments have increased four segments now click on the leftmost side it's blue so it means it's selected rest of the white area is not selected right click on it then left color type foreground color transparent so we are making this side entirely transparent now click it again right color type and foreground color transparent so the entire left corner left segment it has become transparent do the same process on the rightmost side that is the last segment now in the middle two segment i'm going to fill it with solid color so let's just take a purple color for foreground now just like before right click on the segment left color type then foreground color you can choose a different process like load left color from etc but i'm going to stick to uh, left color type option now similarly just right click right color type and foreground color do the same procedure for the third segment that is the another segment that is left and then you will get something like this there's only one white stripe in the middle and on both sides it's transparent so now just give name to this new gradient i'm going to give it a name stripes and then click on this icon this is save button and this new gradient is saved over here so now close the editor now i'm going to go to image guides and new guide by percent now what i'm going to do i'm going to create uh, four small squares in this texture through guide after clicking it will come direction position keep position in 50 percent and direction first horizontal then change it to vertical now take the gradient tool or blend tool select the stripes or if you have already selected just go here on the left side now here under repeat the option is none uh, change it to sawtooth web at least this one works for me you can try the other option there's another option now take the gradient tool and place it on one of the box top left corner and drag it to the bottom right corner just one box not the entire image in only one box so this way we have created a texture with a big stripe in the middle and both the corners of the texture is covered it will look seamless because of this pattern now go to filters map and make seamless make seamless will adjust the position of the texture a little bit more if there's any mistake in your uh, positioning it's an optional choice but i'll i'd prefer to do make seamless just to cover up if i have made any mistake 
after doing that we can try and use this texture and see if it becomes seamless or not now going to filter map and style let's just change the width and height of the uh, tile so we can make a bigger image and here it is the um, small unit replicated itself and um, used as a bigger texture try another size let's make the width 1500 and height 1000 so it will give a landscape kind of texture so in either way it, it is working i'm just uh, going to make another size this time with 1000 and height 1600 it will have a portrait orientation still the stripe is seamless it seems like it worked so that's how you can make diagonal seamless stripes i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like it just give it a thumbs up and comment share and subscribe for more such videos bye